Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. You like Highland cows? I don't know if you like them as much as I do, but if you do, this video is just for you. Sit back and relax and enjoy. Okay, project number one. I found these like decorations, party decoration things from Amazon and they're all Highland cows. I picked three that were in little tubs because I thought maybe I would put them in a bathroom. And then I have these square wood blanks from Michaels and my terracotta paint in cool concrete. So I just take the paint and I am going to go over all of the wood blanks. Now once they're all dry I just place the cows on the squares that I want to use. Now I left this in here but it was a fail. <laughs> so uh, there's a shiny side and a duller side. So I wanted to use my glue stick on this project. So I put it on the shiny side because I wanted the dull side to show and it absolutely didn't work it was it was a disaster so I ended up having to go back in with Mod Podge and I just um I just put a bunch of Mod Podge on the wood and then once it dried I covered it with another coat so once I'm done with that, I'm taking this um, jute cording that I get off of Amazon. It is in my storefront and I love this stuff. I always have a couple rolls on hand just in case because you never know if they'll run out or not. So all I'm doing is I'm taking some hot glue and I am just going to uh, go around the entire outside of all of the squares. And this is how they look. So now I'm taking that same jute cording and I am going to make three shoestring bows. Very simple, just like you tie your shoe, that's it. Once I have all three of them made, I'm just going to take some hot glue and I am just going to attach the bow right to the top of the center of the sign. And then I do tack down the, well, the, the ears, I guess, um, and the tail just so that they stay in place and don't cover up my beautiful little cows.
And then once I tack them down, I'm just going to take my little lighter and burn off all the fuzzies. And I do this with all three of the signs. And this is what they look like. How stinking adorable are these? Now, I do end up taking a, a smaller piece of the cording and make a hanger on the back of all three as well. And that's it for these. Look at how stinking adorable they are. Oh my good grief. I am absolutely obsessed with Highland Cows now. And I don't know why. I don't know when it started, but I love them. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of these. Okay, project number two. I have this um, burlap I got from Walmart on clearance. This round I got from Target a long time ago. And then this uh, wood, yeah, wood. <laughs> the wreath form from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to unwrap everything. I'm taking the hanger off of the wood round. And then I am going to take another one of the Highland Cows and I'm just going to Mod Podge it onto the white side of this round. Now I put that aside while it's drying. I am going to take the burlap and the wreath form and I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on this starting point of the wreath and then I am going to wrap the entire form with this burlap. Once that's done, I'm going to take the round and I'm going to just add some hot glue all the way around the edge. And this is Gorilla Hot Glue and that is a high temp uh, glue gun. So I'm not sure if that matters to you or not, but there it is. So I'm just hot gluing it right to the front of the wreath form. Now I'm showing you here, I have my regular uh, jute cording, which is what I have laying on the table. And then this one is a little bit thicker and they're both in my storefront. So you can see the difference there. So I'm gonna take the thicker one and I am just going to run it around the diameter of this, uh, it's not a wood round, but we'll call it a wood round. It's MDF, but you know. So anyways, I'm going to take the hot glue and the cording and like I said, go around the diameter of the round.
Once that's done, I have this ribbon I got. It's a four piece set from Amazon. It is in my storefront and I am just picking out the one that has like the yellow flowers to go with the um, image that I'm using. And I am taking that ribbon as well as some of that mesh ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm sorry, I'm taking a little time. <laughs> I didn't cut that out, so I apologize. I should have um, cut that portion of the video out. So anyways, I'm taking that like mesh ribbon and I'm just going to lay that down and then place the one with the cows on top of it and do a layered bow and I'm just going to once I get them um, layered I'm just doing the awareness ribbon I'm going to scrunch it in the center and then I will uh, tie it off with a piece of twine Once I've got it all tied off, I'm going to dovetail the ends of the ribbon and then I will take a small piece of the ribbon to cover the twine or the jute, no, the twine, whatever it's called, <laughs> that I used to tie off the center. Here you can see I just cut off a piece, I fold it into thirds, glue it together, and then I will wrap it around the center and glue it off in the back. Now once that's done, I'm going to take some hot glue and I am just going to glue it right to the top of the wreath. <laughs> and then I am going to take the ribbon and I'm just, I kind of fold it like an accordion. You can see right there, I'm kind of scrunching it a little bit with my fingers. And then I'm just going to tack it down. So again, it's not covering my beautiful little cow. Now the last thing I'm going to do is take a small piece of that cording and I'm going to hot glue it to the back of the wreath and that will be the hanger.
and that's it for this one how beautiful is this wreath seriously oh my gosh look at her little face oh she's so beautiful i am so in love with this wreath let me know what you guys think of this one Okay, on to project number three. I have this heat press from HTV Rant. They were nice enough to send it to me a while back. And I printed out this beautiful little cow with my sublimation ink. And I am just going to uh, sublimate that right on to my cup. So I just take the image and I'm going to just cut off the uh, negative space and then I'm just going to wrap it right around the cup and tape it on there. Once it's all taped up, I'm just going to take a piece of parchment paper and wrap it around the cup. And then I'm just going to slide it right into the machine and let it do its magic. So I do have the temperature set at 370 for 200 seconds. All you do is you slide it in and when the light turns green, you push the button and it closes. When it's done, you just, it opens by itself. Now I do turn it around just a little bit for just a few seconds and then take it out. Now make sure you have your gloves on. It's very hot, but here, it is look at how beautiful i love how this cup came out it's so stinking adorable and it's stainless steel so it keeps everything nice and hot for me or if i just put some water in it's nice and cold but let me know what you guys think of this beautiful little cup Okay, project number four. So I have another one of those rounds from Target and I have some stencils from Essential Stencils. I love them, they're so good. Now I have this green, yellow, and brown color. I'm sorry, I couldn't read the names on them and I'm not with my paints right now so anyway um i have a link in my description box for es essential stencils i do earn a small um commission but these stencils are just amazing i am still learning i'm not very good at using stencils but i'm getting there and i think this one came out super adorable so i'm taking that brown i want to say it's raw sienna but i'm not positive and i am just going over the cow and once that's done i am going to take another stencil i'm going to dry it with my heat gun and then i'm going to take the stencil that goes along with it and add the flowers to the top of her head and here's the best part of the whole thing is when you can peel it back and see how good it came out look how stinking cute she is oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on with me, but Highland cows are just my thing now. So I know I've said it already, but <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so now I'm taking my heat gun and I'm just drying it. It is acrylic paint, so it dried pretty quick for me. Um, and then I will move on to the flowers. And here they are. Uh, they come in a pack, so you know, you, you buy the one pack and you get all of these pieces with it. But anyway, um, so now I am going to take the green and the yellow and I am going to do the flowers on the top of her head. So now the flowers are done and honestly, I don't like the way they came out and I am absolutely positive it's operator error. So um, I fix that later, but for now I'm going to take some more of that brown and I have the welcome part of the stencil and I am just going to add that to the very top of this round and there you go so now i had well i guess i'm i'm not quite there yet so i have that jute cording the thicker one and i'm going to go around the diameter of this round like i did the other one with the wreath Once that's done, I'm just going to take the jute hanger and add it back on to the sign. And I just do a double knot to make sure that it doesn't pull through the holes. Now, I have these flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to take a few of them at first, I thought I'm just going to add them to the top. I think it would be cute instead of a bow just to add some flowers. And then once I did that, a little light bulb went off in my head. <laughs> and I decided that I was going to use these same flowers to cover the stencil and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second it just I don't know I it I clearly did something wrong with the stencils I think I was supposed to use the 
um, the other side of the flowers to go over and make everything white before I did the colors for the flowers, but I'm gonna have to look into that more. So I'm just taking these paper flowers and I'm just adding them to the top of the uh, painted flowers. And I think it came out super cute. Look at that. How stinking adorable. I love it. I think it's so cute. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out with YouTube. It lets them know that you enjoy my content and they'll push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. And I will see you next Wednesday. I have an extra video for you for the Hear You Try It playlist. So I will see you on Wednesday and then again on Thursday. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week and until Wednesday.